All right, welcome back. We got the STS-135 crew of Atlantis here. Come on up here. Commander Chris Ferguson. Pilot Doug Hurley. Mission Specialist Sandy Magnus. And Mission Specialist Rex Walheim. Commander, it's all yours. Well, hello, Kennedy Space Center. It is so... <laughs> It is great to be here. Um, it's great to be in sunny Florida. It's great to be in Florida. Mike uh, Leinbach said we, there was no way we could land in California. He wouldn't let us. Um, you know, we've, uh, we've tried to go the extra mile, not just, uh, not just right now, not just during the flight, but even pre-flight to, uh, to, to express our gratitude on behalf of our entire office for everything that you have done out here, uh, the safety that you've built into these vehicles, the care the meticulous care that you take of these things. Uh, you know, as soon as we got in orbit, I was absolutely amazed. Everything in Atlantis works. Everything looks beautiful on the inside. Um, and uh, it, it really, I, I hope you all believe that every time we go, we, we, take, we try to take just a little bit of every one of you with us. Um, I'd like to take a, a moment and let everyone just share a word or two. So, Doug. Well, like Chris said, uh you know, our, our one landing option was coming to Florida. We, you know, we wanted to get her back to you all uh, rather than anywhere else. So we, we're just so glad to see everybody's face here. It was great to land on the runway. And as folks walked up to the orbiter waving at us, it was just, it was just you know, felt like being home again. So uh, thanks for all that you do, uh, all that you've done over the last 30 plus years. Uh, you know, the astronaut office is uh, indebted to you all. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, I'll let Rex say a few words. Yeah, I wanted to just to let you know what utmost respect we treated this vehicle with. We've seen you firsthand at how you process this vehicle and how it is your baby. The space flight business really does run in our blood. It runs in your blood and it runs in our blood. And we tried to take care of that vehicle because we always knew we're bringing this back to the Kennedy Space Center. And so we treat it with respect and it is clean and it is well cared for. And we want to do that for you because you've done such a great job preparing it for us. And we wanted to bring it back in that great condition. So thanks for all you've done for us. It's been an amazing adventure. And next is uh, Mission Special Sandy Magnus. You know, what can I say? You guys are such a special workforce. There's no workforce like the, the space program workforce anywhere in the world. The pride you take in your work, the care you take in your work, the dedication, the passion, you are what makes it possible for us to have these very challenging missions and succeed. And we can't even thank you from enough from the bottom of our hearts for what you do. I mean, think about it. You have to do everything right all of the time. And you do, and you make it look easy. So thank you so much, and take great pride in the 30 years of successful missions that we've had, and congratulations. As a... Uh Fresh off of the orbiter, uh, we, uh, we as the crew tried to uh, think of a, an innovative way perhaps to express our, our thanks uh, to you. And uh, we, uh, we took this banner with us. And this is our way of telling you that you guys rock. And uh, we're going uh, to hold it up for you now. Hopefully uh, you may have seen a shot or two of this on orbit. We're going we're gonna to present this ready all the way up. We're going to present this uh, perhaps to, uh, to Mike or Bob and uh, as a, just a small token of our appreciation for uh, all you've done for us and all you've done for the orbiter. Thank you very much, everybody, and uh, thank you again on behalf of the astronaut office and the crew for such a wonderful vehicle.